Dreaming for CS5 changes the way that web designers and developers will be building pages and creating themes for content management systems like WordPress or Drupal or Joomla. You see, I've got a page from a WordPress installation right now open within Dreamweaver. It doesn't look very exciting because, of course, there's nothing here. Even looking at the code doesn't help much because we can see that this is a PHP file that actually depends upon other PHP files to actually build itself together to what we would see in a browser. But Dreamweaver CS5 has seen that as well and is offering to discover all of those files necessary to build out this page for me. And you can see it is a very large long list of files. Of course, I can filter that list to only show me the files that I'm interested in. But what I really want to know is what does this page actually look like so that I can begin making any modifications to the CSS that I might want to do. By turning on the live view, Dreamweaver CS5 bounces this page off to the server and when it comes back, shows me exactly the way it would be rendered here in the browser with all the interactivity that I might have added to this page. But a new mode called the inspect mode allows me to drill further into the page itself. As I scroll down here, maybe knowing that understanding the box model around these individual elements is something that I need to change. So I can click to inspect an individual element and then use my properties uh, or my CSS styles panel, excuse me, to actually change individual properties themselves. Even the ability to toggle on and off an individual element by simply saying disable this for a moment turn it back on, and you can see the changes are happening live here inside of the Dreamweaver environment. Now, when I'm finished building this first page out, of course, a web application or a content management system such as this has many different states. And I might want to know what does the actual post page look like here on my blog. Until now, it's been impossible for Dreamweaver to show me this because that is a page that's dynamically created. But using a brand new follow links command, I can actually tell Dreamweaver to go ahead and let me click, just like I would do in the browser, and show me the way that that particular page is going to look. When I'm happy with everything that I've done, maybe navigating back over to my home page now, I want to know that the page really hangs together and looks the same across all my targeted browsers. So I'm then going to ask Dreamweaver to do one last favor for me. Freeze my JavaScript, which is a feature we introduced back in Dreamweaver CS4. And now I'm going to use a brand new service, part of the CS Live online service is called Adobe Browser Lab, to actually preview my page exactly as it would look.